Welcome to lesson 101, two-dimensional views of three-dimensional objects. Today we're going to take these cubes, three-dimensional objects, and go ahead and see if we can draw them in a 2D version. Can we draw them from the top, from the front, and from the side? Let's take a closer look at how to do that. Before we begin, let's look at some vocabulary. Isometric is one word you need to be familiar with. And an isometric view is an angled view of an object. Here I have what's called isometric paper. There's dots spaced apart just right so that you could draw an angled view, an isometric view of an object. So here I'm just connecting the dots and I have just created an isometric view of this shape. See how it's angled? Now this shape can be drawn from three different views. Well, or three views is what's preferred, and that's called a multi-view projection. Can you show me the top of this, the front of this, and the side? Well, the, top, the top would be referring to the bird's eye view that goes right on top. So if you were to look down on the object, what would you see? You see four squares, so you would show me and you could draw it sideways, you could draw it up and down, you would just say that you see four squares. That's the top. Now from the side, which refers to usually the right side, this is the side view. And if you were to look at it just from that side, what do you see? You see eight shapes, eight squares. And then the front, when they talk about the front, they mean coming from this side. If you were to attack it from this side, what do you see? And you see just two. So this is a very visual lesson. Can you take a three-dimensional object and draw it from its top, its side, and its front? Okay. Now on your work, you have this example given at the top this shape right here, this isometric view, and I went ahead and built it here for you. See how it is the same thing? It has four going across the top, four white cubes on both tops, and then the bottom has a set of 16 cubes. So I've built it, and they, they drew it for you already. So take a look at the top. They said if you looked at this shape from the top, you would see 16 squares. So look at it from the top. Don't worry about the colors, but you see four, 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 and four. You need to draw it just like that, 16 squares. That's what they have drawn here. And from the front, remember the front would be coming in this angle, this way, what do we see? You see four on the bottom and two on the top. So that's the front view they have drawn here. And then finally from the side, the side refers to the right side. So if you were to turn it and look at the right, you see eight squares, two rows of four, and that's what they have drawn here. You need to do that for the problems below. Now this one, it's a perfect cube, nine by nine. Uh, all sides have nine, so no matter how you turn it, you should see three rows of three or nine cubes. I'm going to go ahead and do number two. Now it says use grid paper to draw the front, top, and side. You do need to use some kind of paper that you could fit those three drawings. Grid paper is graph paper. If you don't have graph paper, that's okay. Just draw it here. I'm going to draw it really large so that you could see it, but I won't be able to fit number one and three on this paper. So do not do that. Draw, draw really small or staple an extra sheet. So number two it, it kind of has these three layers, like a first floor, second floor, third floor. And on the first floor, you have something like this. You have five, you have five rows and then a row of four in the back. So one is shorter than the other. And then on the second row, you have four blocks and then behind it, another four blocks. So it looks exactly like this. And I know you can't build that at home, but I have these blocks, and if you ever need to use them, you can come into class to get a, a better visual. 
And then on the top, that one you can see pretty well, there's one, two, three, four, like this. So I'm going to put all those together. And you would have this shape right here. Now let's go ahead and draw it from the top. So going right down, what do you see? You see four, next to four, and then one. So you do need to label it for me. Please say that it's the top view and go ahead and draw four and four with extra one sticking out. Okay, and now let's go ahead and look at the front. And they labeled it for you right there, going right to the front. I see that five black, four red, and two yellow. So I'm going to do that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And then on the top. And now I hope your drawing looks a lot better than mine. I'm just going very fast. And then finally from the side, from this angle, what do you see? I see two, two, and two, making it a perfect six. And that's exactly what you should see. Now, number five says, how many cubes are used to form the figure in problem two? Well, this is problem two. So let's just go ahead and count those to see how many we have. On the top, I had the four yellow. In the middle, I had the eight, or the eight red, making 12. And then on the bottom, I have another eight, plus the extra one, making nine. So the 12 plus the nine, 12 blocks total plus the nine black ones on the bottom, and you have a total of how many? 21. All right, if you need help on lesson 101, drawing these figures, um, come and see me and we'll use the blocks and I think that will help you get a visual um, very well. Thanks.